how do I use Polybelt? Polybelt is a polyurethane rubber that when cut to length and welded into a loop can make a great conveyor surface. Polybelt can be a great tool for moving game pieces around your robot. By moving them at a higher velocity, you can easily and quickly use them as a conveyor or even a launcher. A lot of teams have used Polybelt on conveyor systems, and one of the difficulties they've had is with their belt tracking off to the side and not being where they want it. To mitigate this, we came out with these crowned rollers that have a larger diameter in the center and a smaller diameter off to the sides. Now what this does is allows the belt to track on the crown of the roller, self-centering it. So sometimes creating loops with Polybelt can be a little difficult. Oftentimes teams will find that it's rather difficult to melt the ends and connect it together without any additional tools. Teams have used things such as a soldering iron to kind of melt the tips of the ends before they put them together. And this can cause difficulties, especially making sure that the ends are pressed up together squarely and firmly. Additionally, using items such as a soldering iron to heat the ends can be rather dangerous. For example, I got burned by a soldering iron when my student sneezed and the soldering iron went into my arm. Don't do that. Based on experience welding polybelt, we decided to try to eliminate a lot of the frustration with making polybelt loops. Some of these new tools, such as our hot knife, provides a large surface area that's flat, allowing you to easily melt the ends of your belt without using something such as a soldering iron. Additionally, our polybelt welder clamp allows you to clamp the belt ends together and holds them firmly together while it cools to make a strong joint. One neat feature about this particular tool is because it can stay clamped by itself, you can even weld belt on your structure. When making a polybelt loop, we suggest wrapping your belt over your rollers and marking where the ends touch. Then after you mark it, I usually move in about 3 sixteenths of an inch. What this does is it makes sure that the belt is gonna be nice and taut while it's on your roller and it's not gonna be too loose. Now these are a special type of scissors that have angle markings on them, but you can use any normal pair of scissors to cut your poly belt. You wanna make sure the ends are cut as straight as possible. This is gonna help when you weld them together. With our belt, cut to length, we'll take our clamp tool. And so our clamp tool is pretty special. It has grooves on it. So when the belt is in between these two grooves, we know that it's aligned for one inch belt. Or when it's aligned between these two grooves, we know it's centered for two inch belt. What you'll do is you'll loosen your clamp a little bit by turning the thumb screws. And then all you have to do is you will take your belt end, align it with your notches, in this case for the one inch belt, and I suggest that you put about a 16th or an eighth of an inch of belt sticking out past the end of the clamp. Make sure that your belt isn't wrapped around or twisted when you do the same to the other side. Otherwise, you'll have a Mobius strip. Once you have your belt ends clipped in, I like to make sure I slowly press them together to make sure that my tips will line up and the edges will be straight. Since this is all clipped in and ready to go, then we'll get something like our hot knife and we'll set it to about four, depending on how quickly you want it to melt, you might go to four and a half or five. So the hot knife will take a moment to heat up. But once it's hot, all you'll have to do is put your belt in between. And once you notice that the edges of your belt start to get a little bit bubbly, then you know it's starting to melt. And then I'll open the clamp, remove the hot iron, and then clamp it back together. This clamp has an over center linkage, which allows it to stay clamped together even when you're not physically holding it. Once the belt is cool, all you have to do is on the side of the clamp with a dot, that is the slotted side. So you can just loosen the thumb screw on that particular side and swing your clamp open and remove your belt. Now this will have a very strong bond and any additional flashing, you can trim away with a pair of scissors or diagonal cutters based on your team preference. Some teams may find they like the little bump made by joining the belts together because it provides a little bit more texture for game piece conveyance, and other teams might prefer a trimmed end for a smoother roll on a roller. Once your belt is created, all you have to do is slide it onto your roller, and even if it's off-center, when you spin your roller, it should track back to the center. And that's how you use Polybelt.